Hi, welcome to NetApp KB TV. In this video, we will be looking at how to use RLM event logs for storage system hardware troubleshooting. This video is based on KB ID 1012078. What is an RLM? RLM or the Remote LAN module provides remote management capabilities including console redirection, logging and power control. RLM also extends auto support by sending additional system event logs. In cases where hardware fault toleration is needed, RLM event logs can be used as a valid non-disruptive troubleshooting tool. This is especially true in secure sites such as intelligence agencies where it is not possible to send the information for storage system and the core files cannot be read without sending an authorized engineer on site. RLM uses the same user credentials as the storage system. Log into the RLM as NA root using the root password. Now type system console to go to the system console prompt. Then enter the root credentials. We are now at the system console prompt. Type in options auto support to confirm the auto support settings. Confirm options auto support dot to include auto support at netapp dot com. To add auto support at netapp dot com, type in options auto support dot to followed by auto support at netapp dot com. Now type options auto support to verify the auto support settings. Now auto support at netapp.com has been added to auto support dot two. Next confirm that options auto support dot mail host is configured correctly. Enter a valid mail host and transport protocol to submit the auto support messages. Now. I'm changing my current transport protocol from HTTPS to SMTP. Add a valid mail host and type in options auto support to check the current settings. Use Ctrl D to go back to the RLM prompt. Type system power status. Type events all. This command displays the low level hardware events captured by the RLM. Type system log. This displays the system console logs to the console output. If the auto support is configured correctly, RLM will generate an auto support with this data attached. To send a test auto support, go to the system console and log in with your root credentials. Type RLM test auto support. This command generates a test auto support with RLM logs. Though RLM is still not configured, it collects the data. However, it would not be able to send the logs. Collecting data from an unconfigured RLM will require that a crossover cable be connected directly to the RLM port and that the connecting device IP be configured on the same subnet as the RLM. Note, the same data collection method applies to the FAST2000 platform via the Baseband Management Controller or BMC. We hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check back with us for more knowledge-based videos here on NetApp KBTV.